All right, it's week three of the Arizona election audit and the battle between Democrats and Republicans to try and stop it rages on. The hand count, which is far from over, will be put on hold at the end of the week, and the audit could be end up back in the courts after Maricopa County supervisors refuse to hand over network computers and certain computer passwords. Let's find out more about the latest on what's going on in Arizona. And welcome to Newsmax White House correspondent Emerald Robinson, who's been taking a closer look at this. So what's going on here, Emerald? Well, John, we're sort of in the same place uh, they were yesterday in regards to the passwords and the routers and that Maricopa County continues to re, uh, refuse to turn over the routers that were used in the 2020 election. They also say that they don't have the username and passwords that were used for the voting machines. Now, as you said, it could end up being another legal battle. There has been several and the court has already upheld uh, the state Senate subpoenas for this equipment, meaning that Maricopa, Maricopa County is essentially uh, violating a court order. But what also is emerging today out of the Arizona audit is the Department of Justice, the Biden Department of Justice's uh, intervention into it. Remember last week they sent a letter that came out of the Civil Rights Division and it was signed by uh, a DOJ official by the name of Pamela Carlin. Well, you might remember her name. It might sound slightly familiar because she was actually a witness in the uh, impeachment trial, the first impeachment trial against Donald Trump. In it, she... Uh, invoked the name of the president's former president's son baron for which she received a lot of pushback from republicans she also uh during that trial was brought up about the disparaging remarks that she had made against conservatives in the past that's something that we're seeing representative matt gates and representative marjorie taylor green both who strongly support the audit in arizona highlight today. They say this is a partisan attack and that the audit should continue. Now, as you said, they're going to continue uh, counting the ballots, but they really feel that they need access to this equipment in order to do a true forensic audit. John. All right. Yeah, I, I do remember her and that statement and how strange it was to see a Stanford law professor invoking the name of the president's <laughs> son in a congressional hearing. Uh, we do remember that very well. Emerald, thanks for the update. We appreciate it. Let's talk, Brett, real quickly about the Arizona vote Thank on you. it and why Democrats seem so hellbent on stopping it. You know, this to me seems like a real remedy to clear the air and in, in store and still rather integrity or confidence in the election process. But Democrats don't seem willing to do that. Yeah, John, I'm really glad that you're highlighting this because let's look at the the really the inconsistency and hypocrisy. Well, I mean, we all watched as Republicans screamed for the Attorney General, General Barr, to stop the Russian investigation, the Mueller probe, and he didn't. He let it go forward. Um, but we see the, you know, and Democrats were furious and upset and applied a lot of pressure. Now, this is simply to, to look at the vote and to give reassurance whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, to give reassurance in Arizona that uh, they the voting was was done correctly and the counts were correct. And transparency is, is what we should all be about. And this is a lawful state authorized audit. But now you look at the Attorney General Merrick Garland and what uh, under his weak, weakened leadership, you see that the Civil Rights Division is threatening to come in. This is an outrageous threat to come in and try to stop a state from simply being transparent. Yeah, you want to take the distrust level and turn it from an 8 up to like an 11 on the distrust meter, get Merrick Garland and the DOJ involved in the state Senate's decision to audit this vote.